Good afternoon, guys. It's Darren here. Um, it's Wednesday, 2.45pm. You're in uh, the New York Open. Um, so I didn't do a catch-up video yesterday. Nothing made sense, as I said, on, on Sunday. I couldn't find any clarity. It was at some major levels um, and all the blocks, which I couldn't really see the direction. And the way the markets moved Monday and Tuesday really went to the levels I wanted it to achieve um, around this time anyway. So I didn't have any clue which way the market was going. And when that happens, I like to sit on my hands and, and wait for something to give me a clue what the market's actually going to do moving forward. Um, today, this morning at London, has made my mind up and it's totally changed my bias for the week. And um, I believe that we've got some entries lined up ready uh, for tomorrow uh, due to this big move on the dollar. Initially, I was really worried about this level here in this blue box. Um, if I move out of touch, it's a flip zone from here. So as the market moves through it, the market tends not to come back down and retest that level. And on Monday, Tuesday, it was very close um to this level and i was like liking to be bullish on foreign currency etc um the eu and gu uh, markets and that was already up in big major order blocks which i'll explain in a moment but now it's retested this zone and it's made a really strong rejection this tells me because it's took out a swing high <clears throat> it wants to move up into the is here so um, I'm looking for either late this afternoon or tomorrow in London a retracement and the dollar I've gone to the hourly chart it's already made the, the average daily range so I can't see it going much much further so I expect a retracement back into these levels here which is a breaker which is the initial move to take out this low it's pushed through it I expect it to retest here as I said, on the flip zone on this block here on the higher time frame, I expect it to do it on this time frame here on the hourly before making a further push forward. The EMAs will start to converge and cross over as well, which is a pattern I love to see. Um, that's when the market normally shoots off onto the second leg. Um, so we'll soon see that either this afternoon or earlier on tomorrow in London. But again, I always look at the 50% range of Tuesday. If it was below here, I'd still be looking for sales, but it's not, it's shut up. It's took out Monday's high as well, and I expect it to come down and retest the 50% range of Monday and Tuesday around this area and give me a four bar pattern play, three bar pattern break to enter long on dollar, but also that means enter sales into EU and GU. And I'll explain on the other currencies in a moment. So again, let's go on to what I'm looking at in the foreign currencies. <clears throat> Monday and Tuesday range is now fulfilled. If I'd have saw a three bar pattern here and a four bar, there would have been an indication to go long, but it didn't. The market wanted to drive away and take out stops and reverse on the people, which means that it's got an intention now for the rest of the week to carry on down into um, late Thursday, late tomorrow evening. What it normally does as well, when it breaks through the weekly open, it tends to want to move away from it fast. So I expect it to retrace up into this breaker here, which is the move that takes out that high and comes back through it, it needs to retest that as a flip zone. I expect that to happen tomorrow back into this big area um, of origin, which if I'll show you on the four hour, is a daily, is a big four hour order block. It's yet to properly retest it, but also to take out these relatively equal lows. And maybe next week I'll look at that on a later date for the market to carry on carry on going bullish to test these highs but for the rest of the week 
I'm expecting tomorrow retrace and, and come away further away from the weekly open. Also on the daily, it's making a swing high, a lower high, lower high. Or a lot of two lower closes. Again, you've got the big engulfing. If this carries on the way it is, then I'm expecting it to come back down into this level, if not to test these lows here. But my initial target would be down here, which would be at least around 100 pips or so, 80 to 100 pips. So that's my target for tomorrow to have a look at for entries. I, well, could, well, I can't see it being New York, but it'll probably meander and Becca stop on high into these into these order blocks here for retracement back down. That's my plan on Euro USD. Looking onto the Aussie dollar, the same. The EMAs are crossing now. It's coming back up it's in the lower 50% range of Monday and Tuesday. I can see it coming up near the 50% line. And testing either this area here or if it needs a deeper retracement this breaker here ideally I'd like to see it come up to this one but if I see the free bar pattern break which is a lower high high lower high then the fourth bar break then I'll be looking for shorts to the market down into this order block here, which is the last day in candle for it shut up for initial target down into this area. You do want to keep it on, you do want to keep the, the positions long on long because it is going to be Thursday and I don't like keeping um, positions in over the weekend, but it's still a nice risk to reward here, even if you're getting around here got a good 80 to 90 pips available on Aussie Aussie dollar and if I just go back to the the Aussie index which should confirm yep the Aussie index confirms as well that it is bearish with the dollar being bullish as you can see the, the big movement down as well as the bullish movement on the dollar I can see it coming up to confluence with my, my analysis on the dollar. I could see it coming up either to here or up to here before it retraces down on the index again it's all of them are in line with the dollar and also onto the fx pair as well the aussie dollar which is given the same analysis and confluence as i'd like to see and you can see that the dma is going to be crossed and converging here which will give you a nice little short setup tomorrow going the opposite way going with the dollar you can see the big stir surge up line with the dollar. I can see it coming down into this area here. There's another order block here to converge with it. It's took out this swing high. You've got some relatively, relatively equal highs here. Forget about the spikes, but there's loads of equal highs here. And I can see a push long all the way into this area here giving you a potential of around 50 to 60, 70 pips on that one as well. I'm not looking at the, at the US card, that's just ridiculous. Um, it's almost hit where I wanted it to hit um, early on in the week for us to go short. So it's now coming back up to that and I don't want to see it hit that before it comes down here. If it does come back down into this area, then maybe you can get you can get long on that, but I can see this in this area here already. So I'm, I'm not even looking at that pair for now. And the same with US JPY. The the EMA is nowhere near converging. The 
the Japanese yen is strong as well. If you look at the the index, Japanese yen's on the right hand side, which means it's strong. It's going down with a big surge, but also the US dollar, which is on the left hand side here, is strong as well. USD and JPY have both got strong indexes, which means they're going to fight each other. So I wouldn't even bother looking at this pair here. So my main focus will be tomorrow morning, or this late this afternoon, is the Aussie dollar, the short in this area, these areas here. Euro USD, the shorts in this area. USD, Swiss franc for longs in this area. Pound USD, again, all the way up into this breaker here and then short down into these lows. You got a range there to get around 100 to 150 pips on the pound USD. Again, it's going to want to get away from this weekly open. So I can see this really hammering through there uh, tomorrow down into these areas here. So then that's it for the, the weekly update. Um, I didn't think I would catch anything. I did say I need something drastic to happen and it did happen today. It's given me a confluence with lots of swing lows and swing highs being broken. And this is the reason why I wanted to make this video. Um, so you can get in the market and win confluence with my analysis. Thank you very much and I'll speak to you Friday.